Hi everyone, this is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video we will discuss about contextual help configuration in Dynamics 365 or model driven app. So without wasting time, let's start. So first of all, you have to open Power Apps or Dynamics 365 and uh, you have to open any model driven app as I have opened Cell Shop and you have to, if you click on this uh, top right corner, you will see there is a question mark. If you click on that, it will open uh, external URL because the context help or custom help is not enabled. So to enable this, you have to go to advanced settings and uh, click on administration. And in the administration, you have to go to system settings. Sometimes system settings takes time to load, but we have to wait. Once it is opened, you have to click on the system settings. And in the system, system settings, you will have an option to enable custom help panel. Let us wait. It is trying to open it. And uh, so if you have not enabled custom help if you click this question mark it will open an external web web uh, page or website but if you enable custom help panel then you can configure contextual help information for uh, for specific entities or forms or tables that you want to enable right as you uh, if you go to accounts or if you go to contacts you can see that uh, you know uh, there is a uh, question mark icon at the top right corner right like that we can configure for every entity as per your need now let us go and uh, enable that configuration before using this now here you can see in the general tab if you scroll down you will see there is a section called a set custom help url by default it is no but if you want to make it uh, at the last you will see there is an option called as enable custom help pens and guided task you have to click on yes and uh, you have to keep the first option use custom help for customization entities no so that you can make the enable custom help pens and guided task as yes then click on ok once you click on ok it will take some couple of seconds to reflect then we can refresh our model driven apps uh, then we can check if the question mark click opens an external website or it creates or it's open a side pen help pen as because we have enabled custom help pen so it's when whenever you click on any entity record let me open a contact record and if you open the contact record and click on this uh, question mark you will see uh, you will see some of the links that is available here right this is the default links or help uh, help section that is enabled for entities but i can edit this right you will see that this is a section and if you click on these three dots you can edit the existing section accordingly so if you want to delete also you can delete that without any problem right if you go to any other entities if you think uh, think on opportunities or if you can think of any contacts or con accounts then also you can configure respective contextual help topic now here also if you click on contact entity you will see some default links in the contextual help pan panel now i want to edit that right so how to edit that so open any contact and uh, any contact entity or table form click on edit so click on the three dots and click on edit now you will see that for this section i can remove this section and once i have removed this section and i have to save it now now it is blank right my help panel is blank now i can add different types of elements to this help panel by clicking edit here you can see i can add uh, ordered list or numbered list i can add bulleted list I can add links and also I can insert balloons to display some messages right in, in balloon format I can also use some marks here right this is how it will keep some uh, you know uh, marks uh, in different sections we can use insert six sections also and we can use images and videos so these are the elements that we can use in our help panel so let us use a small section 
by clicking this button here in the insert section if you don't want to insert any section you can just write down uh, normally as i am writing right now so let's say tips and tricks uh, managing contact now this is free text right now if you want to format this just uh, select all the text and the uh, flyover or pop-up uh, formatting option will be enabled for you you can do it right you can strike it you can make it superscript subscript italic bold as per your need right this is just about formatting your text so let me remove this i want to create a new section to define some text or some contextual help information so let me click on new section and give a title as creating contact or something like what is contacts and what is contact so this collapsible by default option will give you an option uh, whether the section will be by default collapsible or expanded now i can keep on writing different content inside this section so let us write down something here so contacts are now let's say i'm just writing some custom or you know dummy text for demo purpose so contacts are individual customers for our business and you have to capture you have to capture name or you can capture personal information in contacts like and uh, communication details about the individuals like that this is just simple text right you can save it and uh, after you save it you can add more information also right you can see here this is collapsible already by default and if you click this it will expand and if you want to add more you can click on edit and you can edit section you can click on collapsible if you want right now i want to add more elements to this section like some text i want to add some links and some images like that so let us see click on edit and in the edit let us insert some list numbered list so click on enter inside this section and click on the numbered list so that i want to add some number let's say customer life cycle and i want to add in uh, below this customer life cycle i want to add some numbered list so i have chosen that and i'm adding some list items right automatically you will see the uh, list items will be numbered because i have taken numbered list component to add in my help component or help panel now if you want to uh, if you don't want to use numbered list you can just uh, double click or double enter so that the numbered will be disappeared and it will go to another section if you also select uh, the lines then it will give you the formatting option next i want to insert a link right so you can define uh, the link url at the top and below you have to use the link text right now let me copy some uh, link from external website i want to insert here so i can go here and copy some links <coughs> now let's say i want to use this a link in my contextual help so i can go back copy this link and insert here in the link text uh, sorry link url right because in the below it should be link text and in the above it should be link url so let me copy this to that section now you can see the link is rendering as a link if you click on this link it will open in new window now let us use some balloon uh, concept i want to insert a balloon uh, formatting uh, so that uh, i can drag uh, the balloon onto some element can you see that i want to drag the element to an uh, I, I want to drag this to an element so i can drag it let me define some title
so here I can define some details right so once I have given the details and the title is given I can drag the handle to some element on the form because balloon is something which will display information for an element so I can drag so if you drag anywhere it will not work right you can drag to to end to a field so that the balloon will display uh, on that field right so just drag onto an element or uh, onto a field right i want to drag on let's say first name so drag it here now it is dragged to the first name right now save it or click on insert so the balloon is inserted now let me add another option that is called as bookmark right the, the last option so this is the check mark so I want to use click on insert give a link text here now here let's say this is the coach mark right so let me give a text here coach mark job title and I want to use an insert image right so if you want to insert an image to your contextual help panel then you can click on insert image you can use an external image URL here in the image URL uh, field let us find out a image URL from pexels.com let me use this uh, picture let me show some picture or photography Now let me use this one so I can right click this and copy the image address and go here and put it here in the image URL then I can provide a title for this image right so I have given the title I, if I want I can give the alternate text also now you can see the image is automatically rendered on the help pen now if I want to put some video also let's say for reference so I can insert a video and it requires video URL. Let me go to my channel and copy a video address. And I can put it here in the video URL. If you want to auto play, then you can check box this auto play checkbox. And if you want to start uh, the video from some uh, predefined time, you can start, right? So if you want to allow full screen also, you can use full screen option. Now you can see the video will available here. You can click on save now once you save it you we have completed our contextual pen editing right if you open any contact now you can see the default help pen or contextual information and you will see here the uh, first name on the first name it should display the bubble right if you click on this click on the whole help panel and uh, expand this text and click on this uh, read more option or the links it will work as it is if you click on the coach mark job title there will be a coach mark will, will be available on the field that you have enabled for right like that if you click on this read more or read complete concept here it will also give you some kind of balloon information right so you can see here the uh, balloon is showing here how to manage contact with the details right like that if you click on the first link it will open the link in new window so this is how you can create contextual help panel in dynamics 360 so thank you for watching this video i hope this is helpful and uh, please subscribe this channel if, if you have not subscribed i will come with more uh, videos in daily basis thank you guys